Uncle? I am studying the horse. It's another Tennessee walker? Okay. Uh, oh, uncle's right here. Hello. Ow! Oh, oh, oh! Careful not to work yourself to death there, uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <sighs> you gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a rob, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on, then. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. You <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. <laughs> Maybe All not right. so much, huh? Out through the trees here, then take a left. Okay. Sounds good with me. Are we going to have to worry about these three ladies' uh, safety and all when we get to town? Town! That's exciting! We haven't been to a town at all! I wonder though, like, I think we have to be a little bit careful, right? Because people are gonna recognize us. And... Are we gonna be law-abiding citizens in the town? Maybe that's something we get to decide. Lady! Play us a song! <laughs> Whoa. I got a girl in Berryville who can't get in here because she won't stay still. She kicks and screams and farts and hollers. Won't take less than seven dollars. I got a girl in Berryville. Look at that coach. He's all over the place. Oh, oh, oh. I got a girl and she's got a thing. Oh, won't shut the horses. Damn horses. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. So I gotta do it. Eh. Alright, I'll see what's going on. His horses ran off. They're still here. Go on. He's an old man. Okay. Lumbago, really? You alright there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? No problem. Uh. Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Yeah, I see it. We got away with horses. I think we'll be fine if we don't run up to him. Agitated horses need to be calmed. Easy, easy. Easy, it's okay. It's a shire. Whoa, now, easy, easy. Yeah. Uh, do I just lead it? Give it a pat. Yeah, there, you got it. <laughs> well done, Arthur. Thanks, ladies. Feels good to be complimented for things I'm good at, you know. Oi. I feel like what I'm wearing is still a little bit too hot for the weather. Maybe I should have changed at the camp. It's probably a little too late now, but hey. Care to walk a little faster, buddy? You got a name? You're very pretty. You're a white horse. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. 
But the horse wants to stay with us. Hey, you uh, get back with your owner. <laughs> uh, can you do another old fella a favor? Get back on the damn wagon. Okay. Horsey's in the way. Yeah, so we've become more honorable by doing this. Come on, Arthur. Enough showing off. I'm trying to get back around. Oh, what the heck. <laughs> I can't get back on. Can we go now? Oh, we could just get back on here. No, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> so conflicting. Am I a good guy? Am I not? I don't know. Oh, we're in town, people. I think. Oh, we're gonna crash. Hey! Sorry. Woo! Start Smell start. those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? Ah. <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Wow. A saloon to our right? Sheriff in front of us. Go left here, down the main street. Left? Sheriff's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Try my best. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Uh, stables? Ah! Whoa, what'd I do? Just my luck. All right, here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. <laughs> Come on. Imagine Paris and Valentine. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? I didn't park. Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. Do I want to park properly? Okay. I'm not going to ask why. I guess not. Come on, try and help people. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Use your Desperately. Use your You're my favorite parasite. No. Donations for Ring the poor. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. You like ringworms? I don't know if I'm capable enough to donate to the poor, you know. I'm not that rich. Afternoon. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Hello? May I browse your catalog? Oh my god, it's an actual paper catalog. Oh my god. Provisions, tonics, ammunition. You're not getting anything, Arthur? 
I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Can food, liquor, tobacco. Mm. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? A lamb or a sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Well, I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Do I really want to buy anything? Maybe something fresh, because we get a lot of canned food already anyway. Yeah, a nice healthy apple. How about that? How about that? From a local orchard, apparently. 40 cents. All done. Thank you kindly. Perfect for man ah, or beast. <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. Okay, that's cool. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Bought me an apple. Do I want to sell him stuff? I'm not really in need of anything right now, so it's okay. Hair pomade. Apply to hair to slick back. No, it's okay. I do want to shave though. If that's a thing. It's getting hot here, right? Alright, well, thank you very much, shopkeeper. Oh, there's a lot going on in the store, but I don't think we need any of it for now. Because what do I need anyway? I don't know. I feel like I got a good bit of food and a good bit of freaking cigarettes. A lot of cigarettes. Oh, you know what? We should sell the premium cigarettes because we have so many. We have so much. Buy my cigarettes, please. Oh, you don't... Frick. You don't accept it. Cigar? Greatly restores dead eye core. Chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. Well, our satchel's not even that big, so we should sell some stuff so that we can pick up other stuff later on. Sell the baked beans. Uh, canned sweet corn. Sell the cigars, maybe. I don't think we need dead eye that much. It's a nice thing if we have it, but not really that crazy if we don't have it. Okay, thank you. Gotta catch up with Uncle. Whiskey in the morning. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. How's that going? Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Whoa. Excuse me. We gotta protect our own. Oh my goodness. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> Or what exactly? Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll find out. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. I used L2. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Oh my god, I use L2 to pick intervene or defuse, but then the same button somehow pulled up my gun even though my gun was holstered. <laughs> that was really scary. I thought everyone was gonna freak out, but thankfully that was okay. 
Hotel? Can I help you, sir? Yeah, you can, actually. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde, you'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Is that all right? Are you guys busy? No trouble now, please! Yeah, yeah. Our whole band of people, it's like, even the women are thieves and... Yeah, just no one, no one in our gang is in the line of honest work. Whoa. I'm getting what I paid for. <laughs> hey! How are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Whoa. Whoa. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing, nothing to worry about, just men, but stupid bastard, stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Dang. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. We should probably get out of here. How do I punch people normally? I don't know, that just- that whole thing just sort of happened and I was like, oh, I just pressed some random thing and I- I decked him in the face. I hope, uh, everything's okay up there? Yeah. Do you hear anything? After you. It's all quiet. Alright, Karen, let's go. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Uh, Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get... I don't like uh. it. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Maybe two or three. God help me. My horse. Just borrowing it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Wait, I kind of lost track of where he went. I'm just sort of going in this general direction here on the map, but I can't actually see where he is. Uh, I see people running. Not that guy. Here, here, here. He's too far for me to even call out to. It didn't mean nothing by it, huh? Why are you telling lies about me? No, no! I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? Why you run? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. Please. I don't know, because it's not just about- I can't hold on much longer. It's not really just about if I want to save him, because if I put my entire gang in danger because of this guy. I can't hold- Shit. This was the best outcome. Ooh, I lost honor. Well, it's not like, you know, I didn't save him, but I didn't kill him. I just didn't help, that's all. Polite society. Find Karen within 45 seconds. God damn it. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Uh, could we loot that guy? A horse blipped with 
Horse icon is your temporary horse. Could we go down here? It seems quite steep. You know what? Let's not risk it. Let's not. You can return the horse you stole to its owner to gain honor. That'll be good because I don't mean to antagonize anybody. Yep. The horse does not have your saddle on it. Your weapons and equipment are stored on your saddle. Am I going in the right way right now? I need to get back to the town. Yeah. What's that? Show. Ooh. If we steal someone's horse, that's definitely causing a disturbance that that'll make people remember me. So let's try our best to let's try our best to fix this. Hey, my horse! Sorry, man. Whew. Am I glad to see you? Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Now I can take off the marker, which I do not need anymore. My companions are over here. What about my caravan? Evening. What about my caravan? And where's Javier? Javier is here as well. Here, watch out. Ah, newcomer. Don't worry, you'll be a regular no I don't think we need the shopkeepers right now. Javier? Where are you, buddy? Ooh, I can rob random people. Have a nice evening. Evening. It's okay. Javier is inside this building. The saloon. We got a wild one here. <laughs> hey, Alright, there we go. Oh wow. Arthur! Arthur, come here! Come here! Come over here! I want you to meet our friends! <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Boy, ain't you just the toughest Teak Mountain Man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Oh, he pissed her off. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, and we have oh. a Ow! Think you're tough, do you? Well, how did we get into this? Some guy just walked in here. Come on, son of a bitch. Oh, whoa! Ow! Beat? You want to fight or not? It's enough. Welcome to Valentine, you bastard. <laughs> Is this what Valentine's like? People just randomly fight? Help again defeat the brawlers. Hey, you. Come on, Arthur, hit someone. What do you think I'm doing? What the hell's going on down here? Come here, you little greaser. You want to dust up? You got to get like a girl. What the hell happened? Bum. I'll plug you one. I oh. I didn't. I couldn't break free. Oh, I think maybe I was supposed to hold the break free button, but I kept mashing the button. Let's see if we can't change that. No, Tommy, stay out of Come here, you little greaser. God damn! Yeah, I hit like I could die. Yeah. Yeah, bum. No, I am supposed to mash it. But I just didn't mash enough. I wasn't committed enough. There you go. There we go. We can deal with these fellers. Go get Javier. Hey, tough guy. 
Ow, ow. Oh. You want some too, huh? Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy? You're kidding me. Pretty boy? <laughs> I'm pretty. Go on, Tommy. Oh. Try that again. Of all the people, I'm a pretty boy? I said this be fun, didn't I? What an insult. Yeah. I got this son of a bitch. I got this. Kill him, Tommy. No. All right. Smash your face, Tommy. Don't go easy on him. Ow. He's too big. He's gigantic. Come on, Arthur. Got drinks waiting. Come on. I can't grapple him at all because he's too. No, no. Oh! How we doing, Valentine? You show, Tommy. Come on. He's on the ground now. He can't fight against gravity. Hey, come on, stop that! Stop! Stop! Please, please, I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Sir, sir, you all right? Bet he wouldn't say the same thing if I was the one being beat to death. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well. I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters. He's alive. Trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Oh, I'm so gross. I'm gross. Oh, what did I not do now? Save Javier within 15 seconds. Well, sorry, Javier. Can I not get a bath somewhere? Multiple missions are available in camp. They're shown as the yellow icons on the radar. My companions are here, probably waiting for me to come back so we can all go back to camp, because we can't go back alone. We only have one caravan. Swanson's over there. Everyone wants something from me. Okay then, um, yeah. We can always come back here whenever we want, right? I think. So we don't have to fuss too much about looking at everything on the first day. And we don't want to stay here for too long either, because we don't want to become recognizable, do we? Now, how do I find my friends? Blips indicate optional stranger like missions. Got the paper. How am I supposed to ride on like this? 25 cents. 
New Hanover Gazette. Okay. It's good to be... It's important to keep up to date on the news. Damn saddle's been chafing me raw. How do I read it? That's just how it is. No. Um, satchel? Get your news here, Valentine. No, 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 no. Why am I... Oh my god, my gun was out. <laughs> uh... Newspaper would be under... What? Documents? Oh, thank God. Uh, maybe we'll just skim this because it's really long. Train robbed. Pitched battle leaves many dead. Outlaw send train on driverless journey. Owned by Leviticus Cornwall. Private train owned by the railroad. Sugar and oil magnate. Leviticus Cornwall was robbed in broad daylight by mass outlaws. Headed north towards the Grizzlies. The outlaws boarded and stopped the train shortly after it had departed from West Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Initial cables sent as of printing time indicate the bloody takeover occurred in order to steal railroad bonds from the personal car of Mr. Cornwall. They got their info, right? Shortly after the robbery, the train was set in motion without a driver or crew, barreling dangerously through the area at a high rate of speed. The train was eventually brought to a stop by engineers and lawmen north of Ansburg, who reported a scene of violent struggle and bloody carnage on board. Ooh. Black water locked down. Bank boat heist. Largest robbery in years. Duchess boys accused. Bounties placed. They know Duchess' name. Money believed stashed by outlaws. After a bloody shootout that resulted in the seizure of a large quantity of banknotes being shipped by boat, Pinkerton agency officials have restricted access to the town of Blackwater while a massive manhunt is underway. Officials issued bounties on the heads of Dutch Vanderland and his gang. Commonly known as Dutch's Boys. Oh, that's our name. Banks looked to shipping assets via boat as a more reliable means of transportation, impervious from thieves. The deadly attack resulted in the loss of $150,000, the largest robbery in the region in recent years. Authorities believe the man may have stashed the men may have stashed the money in Blackwater before fleeing. Reports indicate that many are searching high and low for the stash, upending public spaces and neighbors' gardens. Residents of Blackwater view the lockdown with contempt. Businesses who depend on shipments of dry goods, sundries, and catalog sales complain the Pinkertons have caused an unnecessary burden to life and welfare. Dutch seemed extremely confident that the stash would not be found though, so I think it'll be okay, but at the same time, I wonder why he's so confident. Blizzard aftermath in Grizzlies. Snow melting. The Grizzlies are impassable. Y'all? Yeah. There's a lot of snow, and now the snow is melting, so the rivers are swelling and flooding everything. Which is what happened in the late spring snowstorms of 1983. Planting season is also reportedly delayed. Family murder. Highway robbery and murder have become a daily affair once more to those traveling near tall trees. Hennigan instead, armadillo or tumbleweed. Huntington Schrader and his wife and two boys were traveling by wagon when they were held up by heavily armed bandits, believed to be members of the notorious Del Lobo gang. Oh, there's so many gangs around here. One of the bandits died, but the taller of them killed Mr. Schrader. The younger son was hit and soon bled to death, hmm, leaving only the wife and the, the older son. 21 dead in attacks, banks and stages held at gunpoint. Colm O'Driscoll, a man with a bloody record. Reverend Alex H. Hughes was shot and killed for voicing his concern for the safety of women on board a stagecoach destined for West Elizabeth. The shameful tragedy is part of the widespread disorder led by notorious outlaw Colm O'Driscoll and his gang. Multiple stagecoaches and shipments have been robbed by the O'Driscoll gang across New Hanover and West Elizabeth. Banks in the region are also said to be on caution as the number have been held up. Not satisfied with the riches of their plunder, the members of the O'Driscoll gang are reported to delight in torture and bloodshed as part of their escapades and have left widows and widowers in their, work, in their wake. Travelers are encouraged to be aware and armed, especially in the area of Big Valley where the gang is reported to have taken a large ranch as a base of operations, leaving the family and ranch hands dead. Big Valley, okay, important to know. Heresy. Oh my god, the newspapers. There's a lot of articles. 
The evils of Chilean Chilonianism are still flourishing. What is it? This newspaper believes it's a menace to all our liberty. Christian citizens of Valentine life. gathered at a church last Saturday to protest it. Valentine wrestles with its own homegrown religious movement. They claim the true Bible was handed down a hundred years ago to our great prophet from above. The Chelonians hold the turtle to be sacred and consider them ancient holy animals to never be harmed. Protesters were seen holding signs with a turtle that had been crossed out. Yeah. Oh. That ought to do her. Mexican border dispute intensifies. President calls for severing ties. So we have strained relations with Mexico. Are we that close to Mexico? Do we have to worry about this too much? President McAllister. Hmm. Ooh, ten years ago, there were the Apache Wars. Search for ancient bones. Dinosaur. Dinosaur hunt continues. Geology stuff. A total asaurus. An archaeologist is looking for, or uh, sorry, paleontologist is looking for a uh, totalosaurus. Okay. Bubonic plague spreads. Epidemic of bubonic plague has broken out in India and Hong Kong, and spread to our troops in the Philippines. Several soldiers have died in Manila, of what was called a loathsome disease. Despite the best efforts in sanitary science to stamp it all out. The plague appears to have resurfaced in this country. Ooh. Victims confirmed in New York and Saint Denis. Not good, not good. War breaks out in the Philippines? Yeah, maybe I'll just skim these most of the time and try to look for stuff that's relevant to our gang or the O'Driscolls, because that's really the important thing here, right? Well, keeping up to date in general is important too. Man killed while hunting. A bear? Yeah. The art of angling. Fishing. It's about fishing. Thoughts on fishing while it's raining. Why that's the best time to fish, little fellow? I laughed heartily. Hmm. <laughs> okay. There's a lot to read in the freaking newspaper. That's one newspaper, by the way. Dang. Alright, cool. Okay, did uh, a stranger have a mission for me here? We've been here for so long, the freaking, the freaking daytime has changed. It's like morning again. <laughs> Was there a stranger here looking for me? Do we know where they are? Oh, someone's here in the liquor store. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pigs' penises. They're curly, like their tails. Oh. Ha! <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> Who's your friend there? This isn't going very well. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. And how's that going? I think I'd prefer the duel. <laughs> Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. 
I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. <laughs> this book, I've got to make a thing of it. And, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity. Shoot them. Whoa. I can't believe I just said that, but. You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot them? Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get Wait. it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to them. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Half the proceeds of the book? That could be literally nothing. Black Bell. The only women here. Oh my god. Maybell Elizabeth Coulter. The Grand Dame of the Gunslingers, the Dynamite Do Doger. Married six times to six gentlemen. Ooh, gamblers, robbers, outlaws, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Never divorced, dresses in her widow's weeds. Sole remaining survivor of the Coulter, Tobin Gang. Outlawed after robbery in Rhodes. Private contract for her life or liberty, large reward. Last reported sighting near Blue Water Marsh. Do not approach. Too dangerous for mere biographer. <laughs> and you wanna... Ah, and after reading that, we can find the last known location. Morning. It's freaking morning already, oh my lord. Black Bell. Whoa, that's really far. Okay, we can slowly do this, but I figured we should probably look at all the paintings, or our photographs first, if we may. Billy Midnight. Ooh, kind of looks like me. By the way, somewhere along the way, I've lost my hat, it seems. Wilhelm Schneil. The man who killed Rabbit Matthews. Thoughts have been Matthews' rifle cleaner and stable boy. New Callaway then. Overnight sensation gained national celebrity. Speaking tours. Then reenactments from St. Louis to St. Denis, San Fran, etc. Received death threats and suffered attempts on his life. Now a recluse save for regular sightings at Rhodes train station. Okay. Interesting. What about the next one? Flaco Hernandez. Ooh. Terror of the Grizzlies. Wanted in eight states. Yeah, yeah. Runs with a gang of at least ten. Stone Cold Killers. Is that right? Raids into Ansburg, Valentine, Strawberry and Surrounds. Gazette reports. Hideout west of Coulter, deep in Grizzly Mountains. Unlikely conversationalists. Proceed with caution. Ooh. Last one. Emmett Granger. Hmm, this guy looks dangerous too. Pervert killer hog fancier. Oh. Okay. 1882, Beaver Brook Massacre, reported sightings. 1886, Laidlaw family disappearance, rumors of involvement. 1890, Chaparral killings. 1894, Foss gang arrest. 1895, federal pardon. Why? At present, keeper of hogs near Flatiron Lake. Interview refused. So you've already been there. This guy's not dangerous. Okay, that's good to know. Are any of them actually near me? I don't know. <laughs> Clearly, we haven't been anywhere here. Emmett Granger is near when we visit Swanson later. Okay, I'll make a mental note of that. Oh... My god, where are we? Wow, how big is the map anyway? We don't know. Well, we're not in a hurry. We'll come back whenever it's convenient for us. Okay, sounds good. Uh, did everyone leave without me? How do I get back to the camp? 
Can I borrow this horse? Is that someone's horse? Kentucky bourbon. Uh, I feel like I just took someone's stuff. Is that alright? It is now! <laughs> it might be the biographer's stuff anyway, so that's... I got thick skin, that's probably okay. Damn it, this place. Missions and activities can lock and become unavailable when you are wanted by the law or bounty hunters. Well, hopefully no one's gonna come get me, right? Could I just go back to the camp? Where did we... We came into town earlier, but where did we leave the caravan? I think people might have left without me. There's a sheriff. When we first came here? What? Hey there, pal. Can you help me? Could right, you use some help in finding skin? my way home? Well, right, I can't make man, heads or tails of where I'm at. <laughs> hey, we're in the same boat. I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in the right direction? Sure, sure. Just head over that way. You'll get home fine. Thank you, mister. Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. Throw me a coin then, if you appreciate it. <laughs> I think we made a turn here. And then our caravan should be... It's not here. <laughs> I think they must have rode it back without me. What do I do in this case? Like, I don't want to steal someone's horse. <laughs> Is that really something we want to do? How are you going to react if I ride this? Let's move. Yeah? Oh! Someone witnessed my horse theft. Oh! Wow, we're great. Um... If a witness sees you commit a crime, they'll report it. And the law will be... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold up. I think we need to set a waypoint back to the camp ASAP. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where's the camp? Right here. Right here. We just gotta get out of here, okay? Just... Goodness. They're investigating. Evade the law by escaping from the red search area. I want to be law-abiding, but that's not really the kind of guy that Arthur Morgan is, is he? <laughs> there are regular thieves and whatnot. The law cannot see you! If you continue to evade them, they will eventually stop looking for you. I stole this random horse. It's not my fault, okay? My people didn't wait for me. They took the caravan back. I lost my hat. Yeah, where did I lose my hat anyway? I look disgusting, okay? Look at my freaking jacket. <laughs> What's going on here, man? I... Oh. oh no, I have a $10 bounty. How do I get rid of that bounty? Oh, I don't want to live like this, you know? Yeah. Is it possible to just be law-abiding the whole time? I don't know. Hey everybody. Now, come on. now bounty hunters are gonna come hunt me down. That's not good. Jump to horse. You trying to prove a point with a wrong fella. Oh! oh! Enemies were led to camp. I was just looking at that guy. Why'd he get upset? Oh, I'm back. Are we okay? <laughs> uh... I don't know what that was about. It just said enemies were led to camp and then... And that's that. Hey, everybody! Hey, I... Hosea? Where are you all? Bring Pearson animals to supply the camp. Hey, dude. Hello. 
Hey, Susan. Help me. Speak to them for me. Maybe after lunch, hey? Can I get my hat back? I gotta go to my camp for that, right? The stew is currently being prepared. This is my little place. My little hut. Inspect. Oh. Oh, my friends and family and stuff. Lyle Morgan. My dad? Dog. Arthur's dog. Oh yeah, Arthur's father. Hosea, Dutch, and Arthur. Oh, we've been running together for a long, long, long time. Hmm. Hmm. Toggle. Beatrice Morgan. My mom, I guess. Okay, that's cool. Can I get my hat back? Maybe it'll be good to switch my clothing too, because people... People are very, very angry at me all the time. Gunslinger. Ooh, whoa, that's way too hot. Oh, that's cool, but it feels a little bit too hot too. Nah, maybe this outfit is the one I like the best too. But I want the... I want the hat back, please. Yeah, thank you. Outfits? Do we have more? The star won't go away. Why? Hats. Nah, we're okay. I'm okay with the, the current hat we got. That's fine. Coats. Ooh, this one's kind of nice. Not this one, though. This one's too wooly. Gunslinger jacket. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'll have this. Oh. We can change the color as well. Cool. Okay. Sure, why not? Oh, I like the black one too. Basically, I like everything. <laughs> oh, but these ones are nicer because it's like, it suits the weather more, I feel like. Oh, decisions, decisions. This one makes me look too fancy. I'm not that fancy. Eh, maybe I'll just try... Maybe we'll just go with what we have right now. It looks so hot, though. Yeah, okay, how about like that? Okay. No, no, no! Oh, no! I wanted the... You have no outfit suitable for cold weather on your horse. Is that okay? Is that an issue? I don't know. No. I want the vest back. Oh, the vest is underneath, but I still got the big coat on. That's the thing. Okay. Well, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll keep it like this. I feel like it's so damn hot, though. Shave! Good morning, Arthur. I can shave. Trim. All facial hair. Mustache. <laughs> I guess I'll do all. Am I gonna look super... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, maybe just a little bit left. Yeah? Just so it's not getting too out of hand here. Oh, I look so much younger. Wow. Yeah, but I still got that nitty-gritty look going on, which is fine. So, a feller in town recognized me from Blackwater. That's not good. It's okay, though. I dealt with it. I didn't kill him. Okay, speak later. All right, then. <laughs> you make it sound like I killed him, but I didn't. He just dropped down to his own death. Good day, Mr. Morgan. You got everything you need, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, not by a long shot, Mr. Morgan. We lost a lot in the move. We'll be back on our feet soon. Well, don't let me bother you. We'll see you later. Okay. Play dominoes. Someone playing with me? Anyone wants to play dominoes? Yeah, I think I have time. Hey, Arthur. <laughs> so where did you learn to play? Saloons. Dives growing up. By eight, I was playing piano every night in a cat house. 
<laughs> really? They weren't no life for a child, but I learned a few things. How do I play? <laughs> Arthur has the highest double or tile and goes first. Double stick prior- <laughs> This is gonna go well. Dude, I don't understand how to play at all. I probably should have read the, um, the details thing it said earlier. Help? Mm, activities? Dominoes? Beginner's Guide to Dominoes. Oh my god! Whoa, this looks complicated. Do I really want to play this? In a draw game, the aim of the game is to be the first player to put down all your dominoes. Oh, I think that's what we're playing right now. Can we figure this out as we go along or- oh my god. This is like a full instructions thing. The player who has drawn the highest double- I'm reading the left by the way- tile with the same number of pips on each side begins the game by placing it face up in the middle of the table. If no player has the highest double, the player with the highest value tile will go first. Okay, line of play. This creates the line of play and the other players, in turn, extend it by selecting tiles from their hand with matching numbers of pips on one side and placing them against a the tile on the board. Oh, okay, I think I sort of get it. In this example, the next player would need to either place a tile with five pips on the left or one on the right. Okay, I think I get it. Yeah, okay, we'll... We'll start with that. I have to place the double, right? The highest double. Which... Which is it? We don't have it here. Oh. Can I just place whatever? There's nothing on this, uh... Oh, it's already on the board, is that it? I don't know what I'm doing. This tile has no available moves. Okay, so either a 6 or a 5. I completely planned this out. This is really good. Hey! What? You don't want to play anymore? Less thinking, more playing. Pass. Is she back? She doesn't want to play with me. Come on, horseshoe. Give me some luck here. I hear you. She passed her turn. Oh, because she can't play anymore? Is that it? Is that the problem? Holy god, what am I doing? Can I turn the tiles? Um, five or four. We have a four. We can just place it straight down. And then what? Six? We have a six. Yeah. Pass me for now. She's passed like every single turn. We have a, a two, a one, and a two. I'll pass. No, no, no! Don't pass. You can do this. She already left. She's such a poor sport. There, Domino. Yep. <laughs> Shit, fine, here. Wait, that's not... That's a... That's a bug, right? Hey, Arthur. Oh, yeah, it definitely was. But she just got up in the middle of the match and left. <laughs> okay. Okay, that wasn't meant to be the case. 